see typically one of the key roles of a financial analyst is evaluating the financial statements of the company the reason being any any in finance decision is more to do with the investment and we have lots and lots of investments especially in the equities market available lots and lots of companies listed so identifying which company is performing well versus which is not performing well is one of the important aspects as a financial analyst right and we as financial analysts don't have access to the complete information of the company because we are not insiders to the company we are fully external analysts to the company we are not employees of the company so the access of information is pretty much limited and from whatever the limited amount of information that is uh, available to us we should take some kind of uh, investment related decisions or if i am working on behalf of a bank lending decisions right bank has to evaluate whether this uh, particular uh, company is capable of paying back the interest and principal or not and the major source of information for all these uh, entities whether it is investors or banks lenders both of them the major source of uh, information about the performance of the company is nothing but financial statement so to whatever depth we can evaluate the financial statements and bring out useful conclusions or useful interpretations of uh, out of those financial statements the more it can help uh, uh, help the lenders or investors gain more and more profitability out of their uh, investments or lending so in this context we need to simply uh, understand what do we mean by financial reporting when we whenever we use the word financial reporting we are talking about presentation of the financial statements a financial position of a company how is it getting reported to us so because a company has to publish the information in such a way that the analyst whosoever is looking at that information he should be able to make some conclusions and interpretations about the performance of the company right so the reporting is more and more of providing information in what way we provide the information to the various parties which will talk about the financial performance of the company as well as at what position is it today right financial performance we'll be seeing slowly uh, in the next couple of slide financial performance is what is interpreted through what is called as a profit and loss statement whereas financial performance or position is interpreted more and more through the balance sheet of a company so what content should be there in each of them what should be represented so that it's not too broad or even too narrow so those are what are going as a part of the financial reporting part and even the cash position how good is the cash position of the company at any point in time and the whatever is presented as a part of these financial reports is used by the financial analyst to perform a financial statement analysis right whatever is presented imagine that we are not insiders to the company so the company whatever it publishes to the external entities are the financial reports which we can use them to evaluate the financial position of the company and the financial performance of the company so that uh, we can suggest our clients in terms of investing and lending decisions and most of the times analysis of the financial statements whenever we say it is some of the key things that are typically done 
are comparison with respect to the company's past performance and even the competitors some number some numbers are compared with respect to company's past with respect to competition and based on that recommendations with respect to investments are coming out as simple as that but of course analyst will not prepare the financial statements analyst is not responsible for the accuracy of the financial statement the financial analyst scope is very much defined he is an external person whose responsibility is to evaluate the financial statement with respect to investing in that particular company only so he is not a person uh, who is uh, who is making a balance sheet who is making a pnl there are someone else probably the company management with respect to the chartered accountants within within the company they are responsible to prepare the financial statement but the financial analyst uses these financial statements to frame some kind of investment or lending decisions about the company that is one thing we have to be very clear with and whenever we talk about those various financial reports some of the key things that are very much mandatory to be presented by every public listed company of course even a private company has to publish them but there are more and more uh, stringent requirements as far as a public listed company is concerned which has raised capital from public which uh, which is trading in uh, the markets for those kind of companies on a on a regular basis typically on an yearly basis they have to publish what is called as a balance sheet which in today's terminology it is called as the statement of financial position because at any point in time it tells us what is the position of the company what the company owns and the what the company owes to others what comes to the company what is still pending to come to the company what the company is pending to pay to the other parties what is pending to and fro from the company so that is what is an indicator of the financial position of the company then there is uh, one more area that is uh, focused more on one more statement which uh, the companies have to publish is the statement of comprehensive income which in uh, in day to day parlance it is also called as pnl statement profit and loss statement or sometimes people also call it as income statement all are uh, the same names right but the more uh, comprehensive name for it being a statement of comprehensive income what are contained in each of them if i am talking about a statement of comprehensive income or pnl statement it primarily contains what activities or what transactions are happened during a particular period from april 1st to march 31st whatever have occurred in terms of revenues and expenses of the company so it always talked about as a period during this particular period whatever has come in and whatever has gone out of the company right revenues as well as expenses during a particular period it could be year it could be quarter it could be anything we define the period and whatever have come in and gone out during the period is what we are putting as a part of the income statement or pnl statement so the key items that go into it are the revenues revenues are probably from your business operations and we also use a word called other income non business operations whatever you are getting non business operations like you invest the money company invest the money somewhere else like uh, in our individual cases salary if i treat it as revenue right as my normal regular business fees salary if i treat it as a revenue but if i get some kind if I, if i do some other investment and those give some dividends and probably if i give my house on rent i get some rentals those are all my non business kind of income even from a company standpoint they invest in some other companies they buy the shares of some other company 
they buy the bonds of some other companies which also gives